This is Code.org. I'm currently working on Minecraft Hour of Code, or the Minecraft Adventure uh, course. Let's see what they have us. Oh, I'm on level seven. Let's see what we're doing here. It's a good. It's good to plan ahead. Well, yeah, sure. Plant crops on both sides of the water so you don't get hungry later. Uh, so you don't get hungry later on. Okay, no getting hungry. And let's see. Quick reminders. This is the block of codes we can use, or the blocks of code we can use. Here is where we can put those blocks. They do need to be connected. Here's the game screen. We can test our code. Let's see what we have so far. Run. Oh, we have nothing. Okay, well, that's why nothing happened. Um, so let me reset that. All right. Plant on both sides. All right. So... We want to plant. Let's go ahead. I got, oh, can we plant where we're standing? It looks like, yeah, it looks like that soil is ready. So let's say plant crop, I guess. And then we'll move forward, plant a crop, move forward, plant a crop, move forward, plant a crop maybe. And then I'm going to test this. You can hit run as much as you want. I do often because it's easier to find mistakes early than have to go back and hunt through a bunch of your code to figure out what's wrong. Ooh, this is looking... Alright. Use the plant command. Yeah, okay. So we are planting them. I can already tell, though, there is an easier way to do this. So I am going to get rid of all of this. Goodbye. Keep plant and crop and keep move forward. I'm going to use a repeat function. Alright, and six times, is that going to be enough? I think that will be. And so when our code hits this... Whatever is inside of it, which is going to be plant and move forward, will happen six times. So the computer will run plant a crop, move forward once. Zoop. Plant a crop, move forward once. Zoop. Plant a crop, move forward once. Zoop. And just keep looping around until it's on it six times. Let's test. Perfect. That looked good so far. And then what do we want to do? Hmm. We want to... Turn right, move forward once, move forward twice, turn right, and then we are going to move forward and start planting again, aren't we? Yep, move forward. Okay. Well, then we're going to move forward and start doing this. So I can put that again. Six times. Plant and move forward. Oops. I need to get my plant crop in here. Let's give it a shot. It's looking good so far. Oh, is it going to tell us success? I was going to shear this sheep and everything. I want to show you one thing, though. So we did get it, but I want to show you something. I believe I can even take this out, take this out, ta put my repeat here, take all of that code, and then I can actually put all of this here and say two, because then... I'll do this six times, right, inside of our repeat. I will still do this six times. I will then turn, 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 end up right here. And then when we hit the bottom of the big repeat, the outside one, it will run one more time. So that means I'll do it six more times this way. And then I will end up turning right. And so I'll end up, I think, back where I started. I'm going to test it out. We'll see. And there we are. And that was a bit more of an efficient way to accomplish the same task. So, great! That is the code I had. Awesome. Let's keep going.